I'm Greg King, the product manager for Fullstack DR. Let's take a look at the benefits of Fullstack DR before we delve into how it works. Now don't skip this or you'll be completely lost when I begin talking about how Fullstack DR works. You can master disaster recovery for entire business systems and OCI using Fullstack DR. Keep business operations running during planned maintenance or quickly recover enterprise applications after an unplanned outage at the touch of a button. OCI Full Stack Disaster Recovery can help achieve business continuity fast and reliably without having to endure tedious all-hands-on-deck conference calls that last for days. Full Stack DR is a powerful, highly customizable orchestration service that fully automates all the steps needed to recover any Oracle or non-Oracle application stack that you've already deployed for DR across OCI regions. We have built-in automation to handle recovery operations based on OCI resources you tell us about, such as compute, storage, and databases. You then create DR runbooks, which we call DR plans, at the click of a button. The DR plans are pre-populated with the appropriate built-in automation needed to recover the compute, storage, and databases you told us about. You can then validate your DR plans using our built-in pre-checks at any time without impacting your production systems. Single pane of glass. An enterprise doesn't have just one application or business system in OCI. They have many highly custom systems that each have a completely different recovery process with a different requirement for RPO and RTO. Full-stack DR normalizes the way DR operations are executed and monitored for hundreds of different systems using the OCI console as a single pane of glass. Let's talk about DR at scale. Do you have the IT staff needed to recover more than one or two critical business systems at the same time? Full-stack DR is designed to handle DR workflows at scale without involving a cadre of technical experts when the time comes to recover many systems at the same time. Now, what do I mean by simple execution? Full Stack DR is an OCI native service that provides a simple and consistent interface to orchestrate DR operations for many different systems, making it easy for any authorized user to trigger a failover or switchover without needing to understand any of the underlying recovery processes. This means your senior, highly skilled IT staff can stay focused on solving problems during a disaster rather than being bogged down explaining how to do things and stepping through hundreds of tedious and time-consuming steps needed to recover 10 or 20 different systems. Another benefit is you can validate DR before it's needed. Non-intrusive, non-disruptive pre-checks are built into the service. A pre-check helps validate that everything in a DR plan is ready for a DR operation, such as a switchover or a failover. And pre-checks can be run at any time by any authorized user. Also, optional pre-checks are automatically included any time a user executes a DR plan. Capitalize on existing effort. You've already spent a lot of time devising and perfecting disaster recovery for a couple of critical systems. There is no need to redesign or re-architect what you're already doing. Full Stack DR is designed to automate the recovery steps for any Oracle or non-Oracle system based on the way you've already deployed your system for DR across two OCI regions. And you can keep current DR processes. We can automate recovery steps for whatever processes and deployment architecture are being used right now. That means Full Stack DR can automate recovery for deployment architectures or strategies such as active-active, VM failover, pilot light, cold standby, warm standby, hot standby, or whatever else you want to call the way you've deployed compute, database, and applications for DR across two OCI regions. You can also keep existing DR automation. There is no need to throw away any scripts you may have already created to handle bits and pieces of your existing DR processes. Existing scripts and programs can easily be added to full stack DR plans. You are also free to design new DR processes. We can automate recovery steps for whatever new systems you are planning. You might even want to redesign some of your existing DR processes once you see how easy Full Stack DR makes creating and executing DR runbooks. You can use any DR topology. Unlike our competition, Full Stack DR does not limit or make you conform to a certain way of deploying your business systems for disaster recovery. You simply use standard OCI services to deploy networking, compute, 
storage, and or databases across OCI regions following any deployment architecture your team wants to devise. This means we can automate recovery for any DR architecture or strategy you devise. As long as your business system can be recovered manually, then you can automate it with full stack DR without consuming a lot of effort. So let's talk about our built-in modules to reduce effort. As I mentioned before, add compute, storage, and or databases as members of a DR protection group. Then push a single button to call built-in intelligent modules that generate custom DR plans pre-populated with the right steps to recover your business system in the right order. You can easily add, change, and reshape DR plans to fit your unique requirements. Call Oracle functions, local scripts, or other OCI services when and where you need them during a recovery operation. Fast deployment using APIs. Full stack DR is 100% native OCI, which means you can automate managing full stack DR itself or have full stack DR call any automation you've created with any OCI service or tools like the SDK, the CLI, Resource Manager, Ansible, Terraform, etc. Use Terraform or Ansible to deploy your application stack. Then, you can also use Terraform or Ansible to create DR protection groups and plans for full stack DR itself. Finally, let me point out that full stack DR is a serverless architecture. Unlike our competition, this means full stack DR does not require any specialized storage to contain images or snapshots. We also don't require any specialized conversion servers, image servers, snapshot servers, or any other kind of management or admin servers. Let me just wrap up this section by saying full stack DR is extremely flexible and highly customizable. Basically, your imagination and skills with OCI tools and services will give you the ability to craft automated recoveries for almost any business system hosted in OCI. So, what does full stack DR look like in the OCI console? The key benefit I'm demonstrating today is that the person executing the DR plan does not need to know or understand anything about the application being recovered or have any specialized skills. You still need highly skilled technical resources on your recovery team, but they can focus on solving problems rather than being bogged down typing commands at a keyboard. I'm going to step you through the entire process of executing a switchover using full stack DR with the click of a single button. Now watch closely because the process only takes about 30 seconds. Let's begin. Navigate to Migration and Disaster Recovery in the OCI console. Select DR Protection Groups. Select the DR Protection Group for the business system, which is cleverly named MyApp01 in this demo. Remember that DR plans must always be executed from the Standby Protection Group. This is the primary protection group, which means I need to change my context to Phoenix since that is the standby peer for this protection group. Now select the protection group. Select Execute DR Plan. Notice the pre-checks are enabled by default. You can uncheck this to save some time if you are confident everything is going to work. I lack that confidence, so I'm going to leave pre-checks enabled. And now select the single button that triggers the execution. That's it! That was the entire process for initiating the recovery for any business system, no matter how complex or how many steps it takes to recover. You can execute DR plans for other business systems once the recovery team is confident things appear to be running smoothly. Personally, I would wait until the pre-checks have completed successfully before executing DR plans for other business systems. Now let me show you a few things about the UI while we wait for the switchover to complete. Don't worry too much about the terms I'm using to describe things. I'll explain terms and technical concepts in the next video. Let's take a quick look at pre-checks. Pre-checks validate the readiness of various things like replicated storage if you've added volume groups as members. It ensures DataGuard is ready for switchover or failover if you've added one or more databases as members. And it checks to see if stopping VMs at the primary site and launching VMs at the standby site are likely to succeed. It also ensures any subnets you specified for VNICs at the standby region haven't been accidentally deleted by somebody. 
If you are executing a switchover like I am here, then the pre-check ensures readiness at both the primary and standby regions. If you are executing a failover, then pre-checks only ensure readiness at the standby region. Let me show you one more thing. This is called a plan group. Plan groups contain one or more plan steps like this. If this step encounters a problem, Full Stack DR will allow you to solve the problem, then return here to either skip or retry the step again. You can also view the log for each plan step. Like our competition, you can cancel the entire D operation if things are going horribly wrong. However, something we offer that our competition doesn't is the ability to temporarily pause the DR operation, fix whatever problem you encountered, and then resume the DR operation where it left off. Full Stack DR also keeps track of how long individual steps and groups of steps are taking to complete. The switchover is now complete. The very last thing I'm going to show you is the duration time. For those of you that want to know exactly how long it took to recover a business system, this shows the entire time it took to complete a switchover or failover. The total duration time for a failover is probably a better number to use when trying to track the recovery time because failovers only execute steps at the standby region. That's it. I'm going to take a deep dive into the common terms and technical concepts in the next video. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.